life in Qatar, no taxes, free education abroad, huge wages and pensions. Life in Qatar is great, at least if you're a male citizen. For everyone else, it varies considerably. The population of Qatar is less than 3 million, and only about one-tenth of them are citizens. The rest are expatriates, mostly from India and Nepal. 80% of the country's inhabitants live in the capital, Doha. Qatar has the world's third largest natural gas and oil reserves. This has made it very rich. Qatar has one of the highest GDP per capita in the world, and Qatari citizens are amongst the highest paid in the world. The average monthly income of a Qatari family is about $20,000. In the US, that number is just $7,000. Qatar enjoys a number of other perks. It has one of the lowest tax rates in the world. There is no tax on personal income. The companies pay a flat tax of 10%. Qatari citizens don't pay for utility services. They are given land and low-cost loans to build houses when they marry. The minimum pension in Qatar is $4,120. Qatar also has one of the lowest crime rates in the world. In 2021, it was named the third safest country. Qatar has a strong education system. Its literacy rate is about 3%, the lowest in the Arab world. Qatar has eight colleges of its own. Several prestigious universities have satellite campuses in Qatar. And if a Qatari wishes to study abroad, the government will pay. Healthcare standards in Qatar are very high. Qatari citizens are covered by a national health insurance plan. The citizens of Qatar enjoy many benefits, but it's not the case for the expatriates. Qatar's economy rests on cheap migrant labor. Migrant workers comprise 94% of the workforce. Until 2017, Qatar had no official minimum wage. Migrant workers arrive in search of jobs. Many come under the provisions of Qatar's sponsorship law. It gives the sponsors expensive power over the fate of the workers. They can evict them and deny them permission to leave the country. Sometimes they even take away the workers' passports. The migrants often live and work in horrible conditions. Human rights activists call it modern-day slavery. Qatar also has no gender equality to speak of. In 2021, it was ranked 142nd in the Global Gender Gap Report. Women's rights are restricted by the male guardianship law. Women must obtain permission from their male guardians to marry. They need permission to study abroad or work in many jobs. Qatari women are expected to wear traditional clothing. For LGBT individuals, it's even worse. Homosexuality is illegal in Qatar. It is punishable by up to seven years imprisonment. There have been some improvements in human rights in recent years. Many have been due to international pressure. However, Qatar's many benefits are still enjoyed by few. 